What is your purpose? What do you desire most in life? That hope resides inside a focused mind tied to an emotion like love. Love should be the driving force. Love should be the riding course. Your why should be worth fighting for. And yes, time is of course around. But those that find their treasure seem as though they are not bound by this concept of time and how they never give up until they find success. Yes, the time for yours is now. Everybody has a problem with purpose at one point in their life. And I had a big problem with purpose and not until I, I really grabbed a hold of the love of Jesus, not until I grabbed a hold of how much God loved me and that God loved me as separate from what I did. He loved me separate than my talents and my gifts. He loved me separate than all these things that I could do for him. He loved me simply because he created me and he had a plan for my life. That's when I really walked, started to walk in the true identity that God had called for me. And I want to tell you, you will never walk in your purpose if you don't know who you are in Him. Somebody say, my identity. Can I ask a question? When people see you, do they see that you're going somewhere? Do they get direction? Because if you don't know where you're going, anywhere will get you there. Anywhere. Just ponder on that for a second. But we are relentless because God is relentless. I'm not referring to the universe, energy, or mathematics. I'm referring to the one that sits on a throne, relentlessly pursuing after you. In the same manner that he pursues me, I pursue my purpose that he's given me, which shapes who I am and gives me identity. What you believe about yourself will determine, right, how you behave. So it's what you actually believe is actually what determines how you behave. And I want to say that the Christian life is not about behavior modification, but rather heart transformation. The patterns of this world are giants. They cause enmity with success, and the only way to slay them is a mind switch. Your identity is in what you identify with, so when they ask who, that's why I identify him. He said, you gotta die to yourself, not until you die. And so for a year, two years, three years, every time I would sit and talk with this guy, he would say, you just gotta die. And I was like, I'm not, I wanna live. He said, you gotta die. And I said, I wanna live. And that's the way some of us are. God is saying, you gotta die. You said, I gotta live. I gotta be my individuality. I gotta be unique. I gotta be different. And God is saying, just die and let me resurrect you who I've called you to be. The real you, the true you, the God begotten you. When I know my identity and I know what he did for me, I can begin to love my family endlessly. And see, he paid the price for me because adoption's cost. And to him, adoption's final. No one adopted's lost. See, my purpose is rooted in empathy. Not to be idly sidelined by my brother whom I should rise, cries or dies by my side. Because I didn't speak to tell him whatever you choose under heaven to do. Relentlessly, we are relentless.